Hello, my name is Platone. In the previous video, we learned about variables and did some simple calculations. Today, we're going to learn about strings in Python. Do you remember our first program, the Hello World program? It's actually a string. All text is a string. In Python, you create strings by putting quotes around text. For example, mess equals Hello, I'm a string. You can you can use the print function to see what's inside the variable mess. Print mess. You can also create create strings by using single quotes, just like this. Mess equals Holly Molly. Print mess. Don't forget to close your quotes. See, I got an error. I forgot to close quotes. You should always start and end with the same quotes. If you start with single quotes and finish with double, you get an error message. Single and double quotes can be only used for one line strings. Try this. Mess equals one more. To use more than one line of text in your string, use three single quotes and then hit enter between lines, just like this. Mess equals three single quotes, first, second, third. Print mess. Now come to this crazy example. Mess equals single quote double. Quote. They're all types of codes meshed together. When Python sees the quotation mark after the quotes word, it thinks that the string has ended. The solution is a multiple line string. If you put three single quotes and then hit enter, you can put any combination of single or double quotes inside. Just don't put three single quotes because that will be the end of the string. Let's fix our string. Mess equals single quote double quote. It works, but I know a trick to use single or double quotes without errors. You can add a backslash after every equation mark. That will tell Python it isn't the end of the line. Mess equals single backslash quote double quote and then end the string. You see, no errors, but it's a little hard to read, especially when you have lots of quotes within a string. So it's better to use the multi line strings in, su in such situations. Now that we know how to create a shrink, I'll show you how to use it. You can do really cool stuff with strings.
We can use percent as to add value to the message. For example, let's create your cre let's pretend you're creating your own Pokemon Go game, and you want to display how much Pokemon's player caught today. Pokes equals one hundred. Mess equals you caught percent s Pokemon's today. Outstanding. Result. Print mess percent cooks. We created two variables. The first variable stores the amount of Pokemon's player caught. Second variable is a message where percent as is a placeholder for number of Pokemon's. On our next line, we called print message to tell Python to replace percent %s with the value stored in the variable Pokemons. Cool thing about using a placeholder is that you can pass different values and even actual values to the strings, just like this. Mess equals I have percent s poke one equals ev poke two equals dragonite Print mess percent poke one. Print mess percent poke two. Print mess percent Pikachu. Here we created three variables. The first is message. The second two stores. Pokemon's name, which we use in the first two print calls. Third print call uses actual value instead of variables. You can use as many placeholders in the string as you want. For example, mess equals percent s is good. Percent s is also good. Print mess percent EV slash drag night. Don't forget to wrap your placeholder set if you have more than one of them. One more interesting thing you can do with Python is multiplication. Just imagine you can multiply any numbers just like strings. Print baby shark. 
shark. Print. Do. Times six. Today we learned a lot about strings. Next time we'll learn about lists, which are even powerful than strings. Don't forget to press the like button and subscribe so you won't miss the next exciting videos. See you. Bye.